So let's talk electric fencing. I'm going to show you the setup we have and discuss uh, a problem uh, that you may have as well. So here's our setup. This is Chicken Village. It is surrounded by uh, an electric fence. The electric fence is controlled and powered by a 12 volt um, leisure battery, which in turn is connected to this energizer and the energizer is attached to the fence. And that provides the protection to all the chickens, um, hopefully giving about 12,000 volts to, uh, to deter Mr. Fox. So um, let's turn it on and see what happens. Connection is not too good at the moment. Okay, so the fence is on. We have a flashing green light there, which means that the fence is providing all the protection it needs. And I can go inside, put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, uh, safe in the knowledge that the fence is going to protect the chickens. Or is it? What I've got here is a voltage tester and let's see what the voltage is given on this fence at the moment. Can you see that? There's hardly any voltage at all on this fence. I'll try it around here. There's a little bit of a voltage there. But it's intermittent. And the reason for that, and I wish I could say that I had um, let this vegetation grow um, to this extent for demonstrational purposes uh, for the video, but I didn't. It's just been growing so fast that I haven't been able to keep on top of it. So if we look at the bottom of the fence, We'll see all of this vegetation has grown up. And is causing the fence to earth out. Let's look over here. There's some here as well. So what you want actually is for the fence to be a continuous circuit running from the battery over there all the way around the fence, all the way around there, the fence continues up there, behind the coop, this side of the trees, and back to the battery, back to the grounding point. Um, and you want a constant flow of volts all the way around there. The only thing you really want to stop it is uh, Mr. Fox's nose if he does decide to do it. So um, all of this vegetation is causing the, f the fence to ground out. So what we're going to do now is we are going to cut all this back. We are going to free the bottom of the fence. We're going to clear it. And then we're going to take a second voltage reading and we'll see what difference clearing all this vegetation makes. another trick you can try as well. This is where the earth rod from the energizer goes into the ground. If the ground is really dry it doesn't have a good grounding and what will happen is that the electricity will go to ground somewhere else instead of going to ground here. So what we're going to do is put a couple of buckets of water at the bottom of the ground rod and see if that improves matters. So I've put three or four buckets down there now, hopefully um, improving the uh, grounding and improving the connection between the earth rod 
and the ground because now the ground is wet as opposed to being dry before so it's not a good conductor of electricity hopefully that'll improve it let's see so now let's see thank you let's see what we've done now we have uh, gone around and whilst wearing the appropriate safety equipment we have cleared the bottom of the fence You'll see now that we have strimmed all the way along the bottom of the fence so that there is the absolute minimum of vegetation climbing up the fence and causing the grounding that was causing us to lose the voltage. All the way around here, one of us held the fence up while the other one used the strimmer. The bottom of the fence is now free of vegetation and hopefully sorted. So let's see if it's made a difference. We'll get the voltage indicator out, we'll plug it in and we'll um, see what difference it's made. So let's plug it in now. So there is our green light again. You'll remember that when we tried it here before, there was hardly anything registering on the indicator. Let's see what it is now. Look at that. That's 8,000 volts. Still not perfect. But it's enough to deter Mr. Fox if he puts his nose on here. Let's measure around here. There's a hen there desperate to get back into the coop. Look at that. Again, up at about 8,000 volts. And that's purely because we've gone around and removed all the vegetation from the bottom of the fence. So really, I think the moral of the story here is that just because you've got a full battery and you've got a green light, your battery's full, your energizer's fine, you've got a green light, it's all uh, connected. Um, just because you've got all these good indications doesn't mean to say you've got any voltage at all. So um, do what we've just did. Keep an eye on your fence. Um, keep it um, under control. Keep the vegetation under control and it'll save your chickens' lives. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.